Reform Make-A-Wish, North Dakota. Good, ma good morning to you, Amanda. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for coming on. So lots of good things yes. coming up for Make-A-Wish. Beautiful weather on the way. Hopefully we have the Bakken Barbecue coming up this weekend and yes. it's a big event. We were talking about it off camera. Uh, Tiff and Jackie were on the show early earlier to tell us uh, a lot about the finer details, but just give us an overview about what people will expect at the Bakken Barbecue. Yes, so if you love barbecue, this is your event. It's um, I, it's an all-you-can-eat activity. You pay one ticket price at the door, $20 for adults, um, $10 for kids, and eight and under are free. There are 44 different cookers. So you can go around and you can sample all 44 of those as many times <laughs> if as you, you can. want. <laughs> I usually have to be like rolled out to my car afterwards. It's so or delicious. Or take a nap before yes. you get back on the road. And these aren't uh, folks, that, and it's not me in the kitchen, yeah, right? These are really solid barbecue cookers, so you can enjoy all you want. But there's also ice cream and slushies and all kinds of stuff like mm -hmm. that. There's a bunch of kids' jumpies, so fun for the whole family is really yeah. what it is. Absolutely, and if your kids maybe aren't into barbecue as much as you are, <laughs> kids can be kind of picky. They also, Tiffany was telling us, they have like a kids' corner too. They yes. have like kids' uh, Hot kid dogs and yeah. Thing, yeah, macaroni and cheese, things that kids things. might be more interested in eating. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So that's coming up this weekend. Yes, tomorrow right. tomorrow afternoon from 4 to 10 in Dickinson. Okay. So right. uh, mountain time, but yes. for, yeah, 4 Remember to 10. That switch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we also have another event coming up. This one is so adorable. I love this. It's called Jousting for Jocelyn. Yes, so uh, Jocelyn is a little girl. She's from Dickinson, mm -hmm. and um, her wish came true in 2021. She wanted to be a princess for the day. I love so that. So she got to be all <laughs> dolled up, and she had a tea party with her friends. She had a ball where she got to dance, which was super exciting. Um, but as a part of her wish, her wish granters wanted her to have a royal court. Mm -hmm. And they got introduced to Sir Charles, who is a knight. And he's part of the Knights of Mayhem, which you can see them <laughs> jousting it. there. And oh. so he actually came to North Dakota mm -hmm. to be part of her wish day, which was so exciting. And his Knights of Mayhem group is actually performing tonight up in the McKenzie County Fair. And he said, well, I'll be in North Dakota. Wow. I would love to come back and joust for Jocelyn and raise some money for Make-A-Wish and other Wish Kids in the process. So on Sunday, June 23rd from 3.30 to 4.30, again, Mountain Time out mm -hmm. in Medora. It's a free to the public event, but we were, are accepting donations at the door, free will offering, um, but he will be doing jousting and he will actually be surprising Jocelyn that wow. he's there and, and giving her kind of a fun shout out. But if you think it'd be interesting to watch something like that, he'll be doing sort of a full demo on the horses and the whole regalia and everything like that. So it should really be a fun, fun day. Um, you know, beautiful weather out in the gorgeous Badlands in Medora. You can't yeah. beat that. No kidding. Medora is such a great family destination. As yes. Is. They have so many fun things to do. This is just one more thing on top of that. And we, yes. And we actually did pick the 3.30 to 4.30 window in case people wanted to go to the musical. Oh, You'd sure. be done in plenty of time to go hit the fondue, do the musical, have a full day of it. Perfect. So lots of going on. I, what I thought was really neat was that he had met Jocelyn prior to this. Yes. And then reached out to you guys and said, hey, I'm going to be back and I wanna do something more. How often does that happen? Well, I think it's the magic of a wish, right? Mm -hmm. Like when I'm talking about Make-A-Wish now, if you read about something in the paper, you think, oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. But then if you're actually a part of it in any way, shape or form, you really do see how much joy it brings to these children and how it actually changes their life. And you kind of can't help but want to be part of it. And so that's exactly what Sir Charles did. Mm -hmm. He was like, this is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to be more involved. And so, yes, he reached out to us and said, let me let me do this. Yeah, that's amazing. And so this is an event that's open to the public. It is. Anyone can come. It's Very so family friendly. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so there's going to be the jousting that's going to be going on, which yes. is, I think, just like a cool event that people don't really get to see up here. Very different. Not yeah. a common activity. And like I said, it's a good, should be a beautiful Sunday afternoon to come on out and, and have a little fun. Absolutely. Plan a family trip. Get on out yes. there and support Jocelyn. So all the proceeds will go to North Dakota Make-A-Wish. So yes. they stay yep. local, right? Yep. So all the wish kids that we're working on granting can help get those wishes granted more quickly. Um, on the western side of the state, there's actually about 13 kids right wow. now that are waiting. Mm -hmm. So those funds are going to be really important to get and, and help us make sure those wishes come true sooner than later. Wonderful. Okay, Amanda, if we need any more information, where do we find that? Yes, you can visit our website, which is wish.org slash North Dakota, or you can absolutely find us on all social media platforms too. Okay, great. Thank you so much for stopping Thank in. We you. should mention your son is here. Oh. So I just wanted to make sure he got a shout out. He was sitting very nicely. 